Talking today to Gaddo of the XYZ show, Gaddo, how did the, the show start and what is it? Um, the show is the political satire show. Um, fashion the, the same along the lines of the spitting image and legging all in France. Um, and I uh, started the um, premiere in 2009. Um, um, that one we did the first season and then uh, it took uh, um, from there then we did uh, our second season in 2010 um, and so far we've done uh, uh, five seasons. It's quite hard-hitting political satire. What sort of problems have you had in airing it? Um, so far um, we've had lots of complaints. Um, one of the things we do as the XYZ show is that we control the content and the editorial policy and so whoever we work with uh, has to broadcast what we give them and that's always a problem to any broadcaster and so um, uh, what we've had is the complaints from politicians uh, and, and, and do they ring you up directly and or do they ring you indirectly? We have had uh, direct uh, uh, complaints but also the, the broadcasters have suffered the, 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 the pressure as well. Exactly, the, yeah. the, probably a huge brunt of that. So what did they object to? Um, well, we uh, when we started the show, we wanted a, a, a platform which is independent, which is um, 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 hard hitting, and yeah. uh, um, where we can, uh, as a as a team, we can you know say what we want and and, and express what we feel. And, um, but what do they object to particularly? What's the oh the the uh, well. Culturally, uh, the political class and the, the yeah. elite have always been, uh, um, uh, they feel uh, uh, slighted whenever they're criticized. I mean, that is normal. Yeah. And uh, the XYZ has been very, um, it's a very hard hitting show. And uh, um, so they, they've been objected, objecting to how they're portrayed, to how they, uh, uh, they appear on the show. and, and uh, I must say, yes, you know, we haven't been portraying them uh, that kindly. And you're shortly to launch a children's puppet show pilot. Tell us a little about that. Um, we have been working uh, on a children's puppet show, which, uh, you know, has been created by my co-producer, uh, uh, Marie Laura Mungai, um, for about one year. Um, and basically what we've done, we realized that uh, we can use the expertise uh, we have in creating puppets to do something else. And um, the children's show was likely because uh, if you look at uh, the Saturday morning mm. show, uh, you don't have uh, uh, any African children's African show. And it's all uh, international. Exactly, it's always yeah. international. The, all the cartoon shows. Uh, so we felt that look, African kids are uh, short changed. They, they, they are not. Uh, they don't know about their history. They don't know about um, the, the continent, and uh, basically, they don't know about themselves. And so, we ended up uh, working on a show, um, which um, um, the overall theme is. Uh, to protect African history and to uh, to to guard African history and to teach African history. Um, so my co-producer Marie Laura Mungai and, and I have been working uh, on this for the last one year and uh, worked with. Uh, uh, it's a very pan-African show because yeah. the main characters are from Senegal, Kenya, South Africa, and Egypt. And so there will be these kids will be going back in time uh, yeah. to you know to uh, to teach um, uh, into different parts of history exactly and to teach yeah. history and also to salvage um, you know African history and uh, so we are starting with the um, the our heroes going to back in time to Timbuktu okay to um, help to save the first African library. Ahmed Baba to save the library when yeah. he was uh, attacked by Saudian soldiers. Yeah. yeah. And you've also launched a distribution platform called Buni TV. Uh, yes, we will be launching uh, Buni TV, uh, which is um, uh, because of what we went through as, a, as, a, as an organization, we um, uh, 
uh, felt that you know it's prudent to start a, a channel which he would uh, uh, put together, uh, you know, cutting edge content, mm -hmm. uh, including XYZ and other content which will be producing, uh, but also other content which will be produced by you know, you know, other by producers, producers, yeah. uh, you know, in the diaspora in mm -hmm. Africa, in Kenya, and from all over the place, and um, um, showcase it uh, and distribute it. Uh, because there's a lot of content mm. out there which is, you know, does not see the light of day. And this will be available both online and on, exactly. on, on, online on it mobile. Will be, exactly, it will be yeah. online and be on mobile. We will be launching uh, it uh, uh, on the 18th of this month at, um, at um, IHUB. IHUB. Yeah. Um, my, uh, again, my uh, uh, co producer of XYZ and my mm. co founder, Umi uh, Marie, has uh, created this, worked on this very mm. hard. and. Uh, uh, it's um, it's uh, a very good product. And what's the business model? Will people pay for the content, or um, no? Initially, uh, people won't pay for them. Mm. For them. Initially, it's going to be uh, uh, free. Yeah, uh, the content will be free. But we hope with time uh, we will have um, we will be able to um, uh, share uh, to sell the content and also share with the uh, with content producers. Yeah. Um, at the moment, you don't have as many platforms yeah. uh, like these ones, uh, and so we, uh, the research we have done and, 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 and you know um, has shown that uh, there is a huge demand for yeah. such platforms. Um, uh, but it's very new, and yeah. uh, so uh, we, we fast we would uh, uh, want to, to see how we develop it. Yeah. yeah.